Hi there, this is a quick start guide for the Axref app available on the App Store, link below in the description. When the app first launches, you'll get to the fretboard view. And it'll show you which is the selected scale, which you can change with this scale tab, which is the selected mode, which you can change with the mode tab, and the mode is based on the selected scale. I'll go into detail for that in a minute. And it shows the root note, which you can change here. And there are also some settings which you can change the look of how this is displayed. Um, you can play a little background. And that'll change the chord based on the selected scale mode and root note. It's completely dynamic. There's context sensitive help on every screen. This help will change based on what screen you're on. If I go to the scale screen, I'm going to get a different help. So if you ever get lost, just remember to go to the help screen. Um, while I'm here, I can reduce the number of visible frets if I want to zoom in. Um, it doesn't let me go past the nut, obviously. I could also increase the size if I want to see more. I think it gets a little harder to use once you're zoomed out that much, but you can do it if you want. Uh, I think by default, it'll show the first 12 frets. So if we want to get started, we'll start with the scale. We can choose from any one of these scales as the base. Uh, let's stick with major for now. And then when you select a scale, it's going to default to the first mode of that scale, if applicable. And it's going to show you the characteristics of that mode. Like Ionian has no alterations. Dorian has a flat 3 and a flat 7. Lydian has a sharp 4. And you can get a good idea of what you know kind of sounds this mode can give you based on that. So let's go to Dorian. And we don't have to stick with C. We can go to any root note we want. Let's choose A. And it's instantly going to be reflected. This is going to repaint automatically anytime you choose a scale, mode, root. And now the chord will be different because we're in Dorian. And, you know, that's just to give your ear a little idea. Ideally, you would have a guitar in your hand when you're doing this. And you could play along with this chord if you want to. Um, and first you can get a little idea from pressing the notes here. Um, the last thing we can look at is settings. You can change the fretboard to maple um, or rosewood, which I had, or ebony. I kind of like the look of rosewood and that's what it'll be by default. You can change from dark mode um, and it'll look like that. I kind of prefer dark mode, so I leave it on that. The other thing you could do, um, right now I have multicolor notes like every scale degree is a different color but i can make them monochrome and then they'll all look like that and i can also tweak them you know to my liking if i want all the roots for example to be red so they'll stand out i can do that and that way all the roots will really jump out at me and if i'm trying to focus on like ninths i can you know make them a different color like green ninths and seconds are the same by the way um, and there I can see my roots very clearly, my ninths very clearly, and I could... So, you know, the, there's a lot of flexibility with that. Um, also, you know, you can change it. This is the colors of the rainbow. It's multicolor or monochrome. Those are like some presets. And then there's this thing called emphasize, where I can emphasize or de-emphasize notes. Right now they're all selected, so they're all emphasized. But I can go in there and I can select one of the presets, which would be like a triad. And it shuts off anything that's not a 1, 3, or a 5. And then I'm really focusing on the triad notes, which could be good if you're getting started and you want to stick to chord tones. And because I'm in Dorian, it's a minor chord. Um, another preset would be sevenths if I want to start adding the seventh and then it highlights the seventh as well. The other ones are kind of grayed out, but, but they're still there because they're still part of the scale. And this is also customizable. Like if I want to focus, um, I don't want to see the fourth, let's say, because I feel like it's a, a tricky note that would probably be more like in the Ionian mode. And then I see everything except the fourth. So that's the basics of the app. Uh, like I said, at any time you can go to the help screen, which is context sensitive for the particular screen you're on. 
and you shouldn't uh, have any problems after that. Thanks for watching.